All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today, I'm gonna be doing a day in the life video. And I just got up, so it's 10.40 in the morning. This is one of my uh, later classes, so I don't have to wake up as uh, super early as I did in the spring semester. It's one of the nice things about uh, summer semester. And it's something I'm thinking about doing uh, for the fall as well, because I realize I'm not much of a morning person. So if I can, I'm gonna have later classes. So yeah, so I'm not my usual energetic self because I just woke up. So I'm gonna go uh, make some coffee and uh, let's get started with the day. So yeah, the next bit. All right, so I'm gonna make some coffee and uh, a couple months ago, I decided instead of just buying a bunch of K-Cups to just buy small bags of coffee. Uh, this is just the gener generic stuff by Meyer. It's a local grocery store chain here in the Midwest of, this, of the United States. I like uh, really dark coffee, so I got the, uh, the French roast. <laughs> um, this bag is actually almost empty. I have another bag of Seattle's Best, also dark coffee right there probably be mixing it if this doesn't fill that. So I got the little K-cup guy here. You just put the coffee in there and you put the coffee in there. And this actually saves me a lot of money over time. So I'm gonna get a cup of joe going and we'll see you in the next bit. Yeah, so one thing I don't like about this is uh, when you're putting it in here, you get all of this mess. See, it's freaking everywhere. So I gotta clean this up and also gotta do dishes, which I'm gonna do when I get home. So, we're just gonna put this guy in here, like a normal K-cup. Shut the thing, open the thing, wait for that to heat up, and uh, we're gonna get some food going here soon. Got my cup ready. Uh, I'm just gonna get some uh, creamer right here. Um, they've lately been having, I like this, it's uh, just uh, liquid non-dairy creamer. Um, they usually have pretty good flavors, like uh, I had uh, some like Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookie flavors, they have like Thin Mint and like the Tag Along stuff, that's pretty good. And this one's actually really good too, it's a new chocolate truffle, so that's good stuff. And no, I don't put like gobs and gobs in there, at least I don't think. My mom thinks that I put too much in there, but I put just enough to cover the surface of the bottom, so about, I'd say about that much, so, I don't really think it's that much, do you guys think it's that much? Anyway, that thing's heating up, it should be done soon, just put the cup of joe in there, wait for it to finish up heating, preheating, whatever, I need to fill it up soon, it's getting a little low, i take care of that here in a sec. All right, so I had to put the phone down for just a sec so I could fill this guy up, and it's all ready. So, just pop it open, and usually I like it at about eight ounces, and then we're gonna do another eight ounce here in a sec. So, let's hit the button for our one cup of Japan uh, intro. I guess this would be one cup of America, right? So, here we go. For the second round, I have it do another eight ounce, and then I hit strong here. Then it'll just, uh, so you can hear it, it's not churning as fast as it was before. And I usually do this just to add a little extra punch to my coffee, and plus that mug can hold, well, 16 ounces, or a pint. So it works out perfectly. So, yeah, while this guy's brewing, I'm gonna start making some food. So, 
go over here to my wide array of foods. <laughs> Uh, still catch up on bills at the moment, so I only have a couple things and I haven't really gone to the store yet. So I only have like microwave burritos, more burritos, and nuggets. That's what I think we're gonna have now. So, little pro tip you can get a 4.4 bag of uh, chicken nuggets for about $10 USD. So, and if you uh, plan it out, get 10 nuggets a piece, that's about 10 upwards of 12 meals, depending on. How many nuggets you get so all in all I think it's a pretty good deal especially if you're uh, a little short on funds so anyway I'm gonna get this going and this is about done so yeah see you guys in the next bit okay so I just got the nuggets out got some sweet baby rays my it looks like ketchup here but it's actually barbecue sauce see sweet baby rays got a whole bunch of those bottles for like 88 cents a piece during Memorial Day so yeah that's pretty cool so I got my coffee, got my nugs, and you know, I'm just gonna go through like Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready for the day and uh, head out to school. So yeah, see you in the next bit. All right guys, so I'm just heading out to uh, school. Um, sorry for the vertical video here in this little bit, but I just have my phone on my little uh, car stand here, so that way I can uh, talk and drive at the same time. So sorry if you're only getting half of my face here, but uh, yeah, just making the drive to school. Um, so random thought popped in my head. Um, do you guys want uh, me to do more car vlogs like this, where you're actually seeing this ugly mug, or do you want me to show the road? Because I basically, uh, I basically take the uh, about the same route every uh, every day. So I think if I just showed the route, it might get a little boring after a while. So I'm thinking maybe just uh, show off this this lovely face that only a mother can love. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. Is it? I shouldn't trust YouTube to answer that. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, on my way to school for my one class of the day, because gotta love summer semester, right? Um, it's a lot more uh, relaxed than uh, during the fall or spring, because usually I have, um, some days I only have one class, most days is two, and uh, some days I even have three, <laughs> is, uh, is how it is. No, nah, it's usually just two, so. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, starting up fall semester. Um, I already got my classes set up for summer two as well, because that's how uh, Western does things. They. Uh, they divide summer into two little mini semesters. So that's why you can only uh, take like up to two classes per uh, half semester, I guess is what it's called. Uh, so you got summer one and summer two. So I did two classes this, this uh, summer one and then I got two more classes summer two. And then for fall, we're gonna do the usual four, whatever classes it is. Uh, depends on the credit hours, but uh, I gotta talk with my advisor about that because I want to start chipping away at some, you know, uh, courses that are relative to my major because I like taking, you know, random electives and stuff like that, stuff that I'm interested in, you know, like Japanese. Um, I think at this rate, I might as well just, <laughs> just uh, minor in it, you know, just to have a little something extra on the resume. Um, even though it's a com my uh, major is computer information systems, which is basically like uh, IT, like computers meets uh, business, basically. Um, so even though it's that, um, I do want to get that Japanese because, you know, I want <laughs> somewhat of what I learned when I was out in Japan for those uh, two and a half years to, you know, mean something. And in order, and also to, uh, to uh, brush up on those skills as well and keep them sharp. So when I move back to Japan, I'm going to be in a much better spot than when I first arrived because, you know, hanging out with some of my uh, foreign friends that I met, you know, through YouTube and other uh, social media outlets, stuff like that, um, I realized just how, I mean, my Japanese wasn't terrible, but it was very uh, beginner level. Like, I knew a couple phrases and kind of could figure out what most people were talking about, but, uh, yeah, there's still much to work on, and I uh, also got to improve my reading, 
which I gotta say, taking that uh, Japanese uh, 100 or 1000 or whatever it's called, the uh, the first Japanese course um, in college really did help me out. And I know that a lot of uh, self-learners and stuff are kind of like, ah, I don't go to the college to learn a, a language. It's terrible. They just show you a bunch of old, outdated stuff, and it's just, eh. But, uh, I don't know. I liked, uh, I liked my Japanese course. I'm gonna continue taking it, because, you know, even if the material we talk about is kind of whatever, it does give me a chance to uh, continue to practice my Japanese, and that's uh, the main value that I get out of it. And also, I learn new words and stuff like that. Because I actually learned a lot going to this uh, Japanese, this basic Japanese course in the spring semester. And uh, so in the fall, I plan on taking Japanese uh, 1010. So yeah, the first course I took was Japanese 1000. So I plan on taking Japanese 1010, which is like, I guess the next level up or something like that. And then after that, I can take a Japanese 2000 level uh, courses, I think. I have to look into it be sh to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Coffee gives me a scratchy throat. I have to get something to drink when I head to school, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Um, been busy uh, working a lot, so I haven't had as much time to uh, get on YouTube, or not to get on YouTube, but to make YouTube videos. I always have time to get on YouTube, but... Uh, I haven't had as much time to make YouTube videos, put them together for you guys. Um, so that's why I've been doing like the re-uploads and stuff like that. And these types of videos, you know, the day in the life, this is just kind of a little experiment, you know, just to see if I could even do the thing. And uh, if it doesn't work out or whatever, um, it's whatever, you know. It's, like I said, it's just a little experiment. But uh, yeah, so basically I've just been working a lot lately. Uh, just trying to pay the bills, uh, get myself all caught up with that because a couple months ago I fell really behind on bills because I just ran out of money. You know, the GI Bill could only go so far and I was already falling behind so when I would get my uh, BH check for my uh, GI Bill, um, it would have to end up, you know, recouping what I owed in addition to what I owed for that month. So didn't go as far. Sh 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 sh. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I almost didn't make that light, but uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I just uh, owed a lot of money and uh, construction. Yay. Okay. <laughs> it always makes me nervous whenever I go through like a construction area because you know I don't want to hit anybody or like hit one of the traffic cones or something like that. That's just kind of in a weird spot, but, uh, oh, sorry, got completely sidetracked, um, uh, I was working a lot, you know, now that I have the job, because I got, uh, this job at McDonald's, um, last month, so May of 2016, whenever you're watching this, this is when I got the job, um, been working really hard, uh, the managers like how hard I'm working, how well I, or how fast I, you know, learned everything and got caught up because it had been like 10 years since I had worked at a McDonald's because I, when I first started McDonald's, I think it was 2001 and then I didn't leave until 2000, or no, it was 2002 when I joined and then I left in 2006, that's what it was, I'm sorry, I forgot. 2001 was when I was working at uh, Lakefront Breakway Recplex up in uh, Salina. Um, it's no longer around, but I guess it's like kind of sort of around. It's just like a like a rental soccer field, I guess. Like they rent it out to uh, the schools or whatever. I'm not quite sure on all the details, but yeah. So it's basically like our local version of like the YMCA or something like that. So that was actually my very first job, and uh, that's where I'm, where my mom worked for years and years. So when I was like 15 and a half, which is like the bare minimum. <laughs> Uh, working age, my mom managed to give me the job, give me a little part-time job as a, uh, you know, just a housekeeper, whatever you want to call it. Housekeeping! <laughs> uh, where I just go, like, clean stuff and, 
you know, make sure the jacuzzi was warm and didn't have all kinds of gunk and stuff in it, you know, just basic shit. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't quite that gross, um, but, uh, after the company changed hands, uh, they decided to, uh, move in a new direction and contract out their housekeeping services, so instead of having their own in-house staff, they would have uh, contractors come in. I think at the time it was like once a week or something like that, and yeah, kind of nasty, and uh, clean. So they decided to can the entire housekeeping department, so we all lost our jobs. And so I moved on to McDonald's, because originally I was going to work at Walmart, but they didn't, uh, like, <laughs> they didn't accept my application, I guess, for whatever reason. Uh, so I got the job at McDonald's, and uh, aside from the Navy, uh, McDonald's is my longest uh, running job to date. So, because I'd worked there for almost four years. I think it was a couple months shy of four years, if I remember right. But uh, I worked there from 2002 to uh, 2006 when I uh, moved. Well, actually, I had uh, gotten the job at uh, Walmart a couple months before I moved to Urbana, Ohio to go to college down there at Urbana University. And I mentioned where it's at because there's also another Urbana University in uh, Illinois somewhere, I think near Chicago or in Chicago, something like that. So like when I say Urbana University, uh, sometimes people will be like, oh yeah, I went to that one. Chicago's great, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I, I went to Chicago before. It's, it's actually pretty good. Got great food out there. Good architecture good stuff. But, uh, <laughs> I digress. I'm rambling here. So, yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, I might actually do these car vlogs. Um, it's kind of a little 10-15 minute stretch between my place and, uh, school. So, yeah, I think I might actually do these. But, I'm gonna get a different setup so you guys don't have to worry about this stupid-ass, uh, vertical video shenanigans I got going on. This is just kind of, uh, I woke up this morning and I'm like, I should do like a life in video. Um, Cause I saw my friends, uh, Grace and Ryosuke from the Texan and Tokyo show. Bing. <laughs> uh, I saw them uh, do the life in video stuff or a day in the life, sorry. I'm getting my series confused here. Uh, they were doing a day in the life and uh, I'm not really one for like daily vlogging, uh, but I don't mind doing these little uh, day in the lives every once in a while or whatever just to kind of show you guys how I'm living you know because like a lot of my day-to-day -day stuff is very very much the same so I don't want to put out uh, exactly the same video all the time and conversely I don't want to feel like I have to put on a show every day <clears throat> just so that way you guys are entertained you know with my day-to-day -day life so it's kind of the case of, you know, is the dog wagging the tail or is the tail wagging the dog? That's the, the analogy I've heard a lot with uh, daily vlogs. You know, who's really in control here? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of like this little like before class sort of talk. Because usually I'm just listening to uh, podcasts or songs or YouTube videos or something like that. Because I got YouTube Red so I can just turn off the phone so it's not using so much power uh, when I'm driving around so I can just listen to stuff or whatever uh, but you know it's also a good time to think about things um, good time to pause and reflect as I'm heading to western Michigan we're almost there so this this little bitty bit's gonna end soon um, I'm kind of curious to see how long this day in the life video is gonna be um, I don't think it's going to be a nice, uh, succinct little video. Probably going to include this for the most part in its entirety. I might skip a couple ums and ahs and you knows, you know. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I kind of like these car vlogs, like I said. But I'm going to get a different camera set up uh, for future ones. I'm probably just going to uh, flip around my GoPro mount that I usually do for car vlogs. Or moto vlogs, whatever. Um, just flip it around so that way you can see this side of the car instead of outside because like I said I take basically the same route to school all the time so it'll get kind of boring 
after a while, you know, looking at the same stuff all the time. This might be a, the beginning of a future series. Um, I don't quite know what I want to do with it. Maybe just kind of ramble on about uh, whatever's going on in my life or maybe like a video or something I saw. Just kind of uh, like a very stream of conscious uh, sort of video. Um, these are these are pretty interesting. Um, th this uh, style of video, I think. Um, there's a series, a YouTube series, uh, but a YouTube series, but a YouTube. Like I said, it's a YouTube series made by the YouTuber uh, Charlie No Sekatsu, who uh, does this series called One Cup of Japan. And it's basically him with his little selfie stick GoPro kind of dealio, uh, just having a drink of whatever, walking around Japan. It's, I think he lives in Fukui, which is a little rural, rural area out, uh, I think it's in like the Kansai area. I'm not sure. I don't have a map. <laughs> but it's basically like a little uh, rural area. And I can't say the word right. It pisses me off. But, you know, it is what it is. So he, he lives out there and uh, makes videos just talking about rando stuff, parts of his life, living in Japan, things like that. And speaking of which, um, I kind of got into a bit of a an argument with uh, one of my friends on YouTube. And on Facebook, actually, where the argument started. But he's one of my friends from YouTube. Uh, not gonna mention his name, but you guys can probably figure it out. But anyway, we uh, he was arguing that uh, you know <laughs> there's J vloggers and that there are YouTubers who live in Japan who talk about Japan and showcase certain parts of Japan and stuff like that. But they're different from J vloggers. I don't really get that. I guess like. You know, once I got done talking to him, I guess the point he was trying to make was that, you know, he saw vloggers as just people with their webcams in their rooms talking all the time. And I get that, that those types of videos aren't always the most entertaining. You know, you gotta mix in a little bit of that travel element. And I've been guilty of it too, you know, a lot of my newer videos are just me with my webcam in my living room, just recording stuff. So it really hasn't been, you know, all that life and video-y sort of goodness. But, uh, yeah, just like I said, you know, I've been busy doing uh, work and stuff like that. So, and also catching up on bills, so I don't have a lot of spare cash to, you know, flow around for travel expenses or whatever to go to these different places. But... Almost 17 minutes in, Christ, this is a long ass section. So, um, just arrived at Western, just got all parked up, ready to go. So, uh, yeah, in the next little bit, uh, we're gonna go somewhere else. So yeah, see you there. All right guys, so I just got back home, um, trying to uh, make a payment for uh, my class because I fell behind in one of my classes because, um, the way that uh, Western, and I'm assuming a lot of colleges nowadays do things, is that um, instead of buying books and stuff like that, you purchase like a like a term for an online class. So like you go to class like at the school, and then you submit all your homework and stuff like that through this online course that you pay for. So you can essentially work at your own pace, which is nice. And you can submit homework so you don't have to, like, come to school that day. Oh, here's the homework, you know, stuff like that. You don't, there's no, you don't usually forget about it unless you don't do the assignment. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. But the thing is, I got to pay for it. And as you guys know, I've been falling behind on bills. I mean, catching up now, but I fell behind on bills a couple months ago until I got my job. And I've been playing catch up since. And uh, this is one of the things that kind of, fell behind on so trying to make a payment to get the class uh, back in order because if I don't pay for it then I automatically fail because I can't submit any assignments and the teacher can't even see what assignments I've already submitted so it's like I submitted nothing which sucks but uh, hopefully this website because it's going through some issues right now uh, it says due to some kind of system issue, online purchase is currently unavailable. 
Uh, hopefully this will get resolved soon. Uh, but until then, I think I'm just going to take a nap because I have today off as well as all of tomorrow because class got canceled. And uh, I only had one class and I have tomorrow off from McDonald's too. So I'm just going to take the next couple days just to chill out, rest, relax the old knees because all that standing and walking around, uh, working at McDonald's definitely uh, puts a bit of strain on the legs. So it's nice to have a day off every once in a while. Um, last week I had, I worked like six days straight because everybody, a lot of the high school kids that work at McDonald's were either graduating or they were going to grad parties for themselves or the friends, family, whatever. So we were really short on uh, people. So they gave me a bunch of extra hours and I'm like, hell yeah, I need money. <laughs> so... Uh, it was a little much for me, considering I had to balance school, too. But, you know, it's going to all go towards bills and stuff like that. So it's, uh, you know, the ends will justify the means, I think. So, in any event, um, it's good to have a day off to relax, just chill out and have some semblance of a life, even if you're just a homebody like myself. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to go take a nap get up and uh, do other things and also NXT TakeOver is uh, later on tonight so I'm going to be watching that and we'll I mean I'm not going to show you too many clips because WWE but uh, yeah I'll just <laughs> I guess I'll probably show my face with the clips playing in the background or something I don't I don't know how we're going to get around that just to show you guys hey I'm watching TakeOver I'm not going to record whole matches or anything like that but uh, in any event that's going to be later on tonight, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, really looking forward to the Austin Aries Shinsuke Nakamura match because I'm such a big fan of Shinsuke's, you know, King of Strong style. <laughs> so that's going to be fun to watch. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to take a quick little nap to rest. <laughs> so yeah, see you in the next bit. All right, guys, so I just woke up from the nap, and uh, NXT TakeOver is in about a half hour. So I'm going to get these dishes uh, taken care of, and then i uh, going to get something to eat, and then we're going to watch NXT TakeOver. So, yeah, see you in the next bit. Alright, dishes are in the rack, all drying up as best they can. <laughs> it's hard to fit everything in there, but uh, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna go get some food. So yeah, see you in the next bit. Thank you so much, Wendy. Let me help you today. Uh, let's see, can I get the uh, <clears throat> uh, number two uh, small with a uh, doctor or a cherry coke, sorry? Number two small with a cherry coke? Yes, please. Anything else I can give you? No, that'll be all. 847, go ahead and take the floor. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Parking spot, you got your drink and everything right? Yeah, there you go. I'll bring it right up to you. Cool, thanks. All right, guys, so looks like I gotta wait on my double. That's fine. Uh, at least I know it'll be fresh, so I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I don't know if I got it. Well, she didn't give me my straw, she just gave me the drink. Hopefully, the uh, drink is in the bag, or the drink's in the bag. The straw is in the bag. So yeah, I finally figured out that whole vertical video situation. Um, I actually kind of like this, uh, this setup here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this or the GoPro for future car vlogs. Um, yeah, sorry I had to deal with the whole vertical video in the morning. It wasn't quite in the in the right mind space because I just woke up. I'm just kind of like, ah, let's do it. <laughs> so, but this, this little setup's not too bad, I think. Um, probably shows my ugly mug. <laughs> my not so ugly mug. Um, 
Yeah, so I might use this for future car vlogs or the GoPro. Not sure yet. Hey, there you go. Cool. Sorry about your weight. That's fine. Did you get a straw in here? I didn't get it. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Just Thank making you. sure. Have Thanks. a good day. You too, take care. So I finally got some my food, and I'm gonna head the fuck home. So yeah, like I was saying, um, sorry you had to deal with that whole vertical video badness earlier. Um, wasn't quite thinking of how to do it properly. And in the morning, my brain not so good. So, yeah. So I'm thinking about either making this my new setup or possibly uh, just dragging out the old GoPro and doing it that way. But uh, I was listening back to some of the videos that I recorded and the sound quality is pretty good. Uh, a little trebly, but we can fix that. Easy fix in post. <laughs> Uh, especially with the Adobe Audition, so that's an easy fix. Uh, let's see. So yeah, heading home, food in hand, well, in the side. <laughs> and uh, we're going to watch ourselves some NXT TakeOver, so yeah, see you in the next bit. Alright, NXT TakeOver is on, uh, I can't show it because copyright. So, got my Wendy's here, gonna enjoy it and watch some NXT TakeOver, so yeah, good stuff. Oh shit, dude. Nakamura versus Ares is on right now. Oh man, and the crowd is into it. Oh dude, I, I, I can't wait, so yeah. All right guys, so uh, just finished up NXT TakeOver. Uh, it was great, and uh, now I'm watching uh, the new season of Casual on Hulu. So I'm catching up on my Hulu queue, so yeah. Alright guys, so I finished up uh, what they showed on Season 2 for Casuals. They just uh, released two episodes. So I finished those up and now I'm watching uh, a nice anime on Hulu called uh, Tokyo Magnitude 8.0. It's basically about uh, if there was a big earthquake in Tokyo, like what would happen. I guess there was some, some kind of like re uh, earthquake research done. So uh, it would just... Uh, kind of show like a what if scenario and stuff like that so it's really interesting kind of heartwarming a little bit I guess uh, it's got a little bit of feels so yeah good stuff check it out hey right, guys so I'm heading to bed now so that's it for uh, for my day today so yeah this is the Andy song it's kind of for now thinking you guys for tuning in to this little day in the life uh, video and uh, for watching my other stuff, also want to thank you guys for liking, thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.